Here we're going to look at using Routes Law and the clausius clapeyron equation to develop an equation that relates the increase in boiling point of a solvent due to the addition of a solute to other variables. So the idea is that if we have a pure solvent, like in the first case here, we have a saturation of pressure that I'm going to call P0 for looking at change in boiling points. So let's call this, that's the normal boiling point. Now when we add a solid solute, so the solute has no vapor pressure, then the boiling point increases. In other words, to get to the same pressure P0, we have to be at a higher temperature. And so what we want to do is to look at Raoult's law for this system, and form would be the mole fraction of the solvent in the gas phase times the pressure, which is P0, and that equals the mole fraction of the solvent in the liquid phase times the saturation pressure at the temperature TBS. So that's, this is important that this pressure is at the elevated boiling point when we add this solute. So we can simplify this equation because the mole fraction of the solvent is 1 since only the solvent is in the vapor phase. So that means the left side is P0. The mole fraction of the solvent, we're going to write in terms of the mole fraction of the solute. So now S, this refers to the solute and P sat. So we want to compare these two systems. As a pure solvent, the saturation pressure is related to the heat of vaporization for the solvent over R. And now we're at temperature TB0. That's where we have P0 and plus B, where this is a constant. And for a different solvent, it's going to be a different constant. Well, likewise, I can write this equation for this system here. The solvent at pressure X is also related to same clausius clapeyron equation. But this system to have that pressure is at this temperature. So this is the elevated boiling point for the, the mixture and the same constant B. So what we're going to do is take the log of the Raoult's law equation, both sides, and, and then we're going to substitute these two clausius clapeyron equations in. So, and I've made one other simplification. And this is just a mathematical relation that when XS is small, so that's important. This is small. In other words, the mole fraction of solvent is close to 1. Then that log is just equal to minus xs. Well, of course, b is the same. It's a constant. It's on both sides of the equation. So that cancels out. Now I can just rearrange this equation. So that's just rearranging. And now the right side, I'll pick a common denominator for the term in the parentheses. So this becomes in the numerator and then the product of these two temperatures and denominator. Well, let me, let me rearrange because we're about finished now. So here's the rearranged equation. And notice I've made one other simplification. And that's this term I said equal to the TB0 squared. The change in boiling point temperature is not large, and so to a pretty good approximation, we can simplify it to just the original boiling point squared, introduce a small error. Okay, so now, now we're finished. This is what we wanted to calculate, the change in boiling point, the elevation of the boiling point when we add a solute whose mole fraction is x sub s, and it depends on what is the temperature of boiling point, which is a function, of course, of which pressure we're interested in the boiling point, and the heat of vaporization of the solvent.